meteorites are rocks that fall from the sky and reach the Earth's surface. Now the question of why meteorites are important is very simple. These are samples of the building blocks of the solar system. Meteorites are samples of uh, rocks of a sort that we don't have on Earth. And so by studying these blocks, these meteorites, these building blocks, we can learn about the early processes that formed the solar system. Well, the UCLA meteorite collection started in the 30s from people who founded the astronomy department, who were the first people to get through meteorites. Some of them were found in the Mojave Desert, others were acquired by gifts or by purchase, and our collection has grown tremendously since then. And we now have the fifth largest meteorite collection in the United States, uh, the largest on the West Coast. So we have about 100 of them, uh, the most beautiful specimens in our collections on display. We have some huge iron meteorites over there that are on display, and a lot of beautiful type specimens that you can't see anywhere else. This particular one is from Meteor Crater in Arizona. Well, the oldest meteorites uh, are from asteroids. They're all four and a half billion years old, except for those from the Moon and Mars. Those from the Moon and Mars are somewhat younger. Those from asteroids are four and a half billion years old because asteroids are small bodies that cooled completely very early in solar system history. So the meteorites from them are all of that age, as is the same age as the solar system. Uh, we have very unusual meteorites. We have Martian meteorites here, lunar meteorites here. The meteorite suffered an impact which produced shock and damage to the crystal in space on a fine scale. And there was some heat left over from the impact. The impact brought in energy which resulted in heat. And the meteorite recrystallized on a very fine scale. Most meteorites are just tumbling as they come in, but this one clearly was not. It clearly was keeping the same front face ahead of it the whole time that it was passing through the atmosphere and the friction with the atmosphere caused the surface to melt and then the melt to stream off and make these patterns. I particularly like the chondrites, uh, which are the building blocks of the solar system. These have not been melted and so they give us the textures uh, and the compositions that were around from the materials from which the sun and moon and, and planets were created. And so those give us more clues about the origin of the solar system, so those really have my uh, passion.